Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the farmer family. The first is blazoned, sable on a chevron between three lamps argent flame and proper, a leopard's face between two mullets ghouls, crest a dexter arm cooped at the elbow gauntleted holding a lamp argent flame and proper. This was the coat of arms of John Farmer born 1589 of Ratcliffe in County Leicestershire, England. He was the great-grandson of Bartholomew Farmer of the same location. A similar coat of arms without the leopard's faces on the chevron, crest out of a ducal coronet or a salamander in flames proper. This was born by the farmers of Leicester, a version without the mullets was born by the farmers of Holbeach in County Lincolnshire. Sir Edward Farmer of Holbeach was son of George Farmer, Esquire of Holbeach, one of the Prothen notaries of the Common Pleas, who was given a patent of arms in 1663. He was the grandson of Bartholomew Farmer of Ratcliffe in Leicestershire. Next is Argent on a Fess Sable between three lion's heads erased ghouls as many anchors or crest out of a ducal coronet or a cock's head ghouls crested in jalopped gold. This was the arms of the farmers of Somerton in Oxford, William Farmer born around the year 1480 of Somerton in Oxford and of London, was a member of Parliament, and he was the son of Thomas Farmer, a wool merchant who owned lands in Whitney. His brother was Richard Farmer, born around the same time of East Neston, Northampton, and he had five daughters and five sons, and Sir Hatton Farmer, born around the year 1580, was Sheriff of Northampton in 1618, the son of Sir George Farmer, who died in 1612, also of East Neston. And here we see an oil painting of Sir George Farmer, as well as a picture of East Neston House. Similar coat of arms, this without the anchors, belonging to the family of Sir William Firmer, son of Sir Hatton. And William was created a baronet by King Charles I in 1641, and he was an officer in the Royalist Army. He had a son named Sir William Firmer, who became the first Barrow Leominster in the year 1692. Here we see an oil painting of Sir William Firmer, first baronet, and his son, Sir William Firmer. Next, in Fountain County, Worcester, is Argent on a fest sable between three lion's heads erased ghouls as many acorns slipped o'er. Another similar coat of arms, this with the crest, a leopard passant garden proper. The farmer baronetcy of Mount Pleasant in the county of Sussex was a title in the baronetage of Great Britain created in 1780 for George William Farmer in honor of his late father, Captain George Farmer, who was killed when commanding His Majesty's Quebec in a naval battle with superior French forces. This family descended from a younger branch of Farmer of Counties Cork in Wexford in Ireland. And here we see an oil painting of Captain George Farmer and a list of the Baronets of Mount Pleasant through the year 1913. Another coat of arms, this for the Firmers or Farmers of East Barsham in County Norfolk, England. Sir Henry Firmer was knighted in 1533 and was High Sheriff of Norfolk. 
He descended from William Firmer, vicar of East Barsham, in 1390. And Henry had two sons, Sir William and Sir Thomas. And here we see a picture of the family estate. Another coat of arms granted to Joseph Farmer Esquire, born 1814, of Sydney in New South Wales, Australia, and of Finchley New Road in Middlesex, England, the son of Sir William Farmer. And Joseph and his wife Caroline founded the Farmer and Co. retail dynasty in Sydney, commencing business with a small drapery shop in Pitt Street in 1839. Here we see a photograph of Joseph Farmer and a photograph of his father, Sir William Farmer. Next is Argent on a fest between three bucks heads cooped ghouls as many bugle horns or bugle horns or from Bumpstead, County Essex, a family that possibly descended from William Lee Farmer, born around the year 1210 AD. I wasn't able to find any other information on this coat of arms? If you know, please let us know in the comments. Same situation here. We have one from Fox Earth in Essex, a family that possibly descended from Robert Farmer, born around the year 1240. And I have written here, or a note here, the arms could be from the 14th century. Next, Vare Argent and Sable from County Leicestershire. Possibly the arms of Thomas Ward, alias Farmer, born around the year 1520, of Hugglescote in Leicestershire, and he was born in Cheshire. Another bendy of eight, or and ghouls on a chief argent, three fleur de lis azure. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to discover who your ancestors were and learn whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer professional genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.